What's going on guys? We're back here again at Dos Lagos Golf Course. We're gonna be shooting the back nine. It's a quick nine hole vlog. Try to see how low we can shoot. Last time we did the front nine, I think I was like one or two over, which was amazing for me. So I'm gonna to try to replicate the same thing. The back nine is significantly harder. So I think a good goal would be six over, seven over, but we're gonna to try to see how low we can go. Of course, looks great today. You guys can see really good views today so yeah we're gonna start off we're gonna be off the white tees we're gonna see how low we can shoot goal is gonna be about six seven over see if we can get it done We're off to kind of a crazy start. This course is kind of packed today. I had kind of a rush. This course also doesn't really have a driving range, so it kind of came out here and the first swing is what I had to take. Um, but we're doing all right. We're about 60 yards out from the pin. And this is shot number three. I duffed one in the mud. So we're gonna try to see if we can bring this back and just get up and down for a par. So it's definitely not the score we wanted to get, um, but with kind of a rushed, rough start, we'll take it. We're now on hole 11. Uh, I think one of the longest par threes on the course is like 185, but it plays like 210 because it's the windiest spot on the course. It's big, big, big wind coming right at you. So I'm probably gonna just be taking a four iron and kind of going as hard as I can. The three wood will probably get eaten up by the wind, so. Yeah, we took a bogey on the last one. We're probably gonna take a bogey on this one. This one's really hard to par, especially with it in the back. This has a really uh, big triple tiered green. So the flag's all the way in the back on the top tier. So if you don't get it back there, it's, it's a guaranteed two, three putt. So yeah, we're gonna try to see if we can make the best of it. guys so that was probably as good as i can get on that with that iron while keeping the good direction i'm about maybe six feet seven feet off the green flag like i said is all the way back there on that third tier so uh the grass is pretty firm and hard right here i'm just going to take a putter and kind of eliminate a bad chip and just try to get it back there and go for bogey hopefully i can just tap in a par but it's unlikely but we're going to give it a shot here still moving a little bit that actually has a pretty good chance for par i'm going to show you guys everything that it just made it through so let's see made it through the first one I can... got all the way up here come check this out big tier and then it floated right up here this thing's shaped like aladdin's aladdin's magic carpet and now we got maybe like a i don't know six footer for par i'm just gonna set this up see if we can knock this in wow somebody has trouble out of the sand there's a lot of sand here uh, if we can tap this in this will actually save the score a little bit so we can take a boat through this hole thing ever all right so that's probably one of the hardest ones in my opinion to par out of the par threes and even some of the par fours but i was really happy with just kind of stealing that one um, i was able to get it to the front edge of the green putter worked perfectly i was able to get it through all of that drama without having to use a wedge and yeah now we're on 
probably one of the easier par fives of the course. It's a super downwind par five. So drives here with this grass are going 310 easily, 320. So if I can really get on top of one, again, this is my second drive of the day. Um, I didn't really have a warm up. It went from a par four to a par three. Now I'm on a par five, but I can see from here already that the flag's in the front. So if I can get on top of one, I have a good chance of getting on in two and hopefully get a birdie, but par would be great. So we're gonna give this one a shot. So I miss it that one pretty badly. Um, I kind of went for a fade and it just did not come back in. Um, hopefully we can go ahead and clean that up, but there's like seven fairways to fall on. So it's definitely still in play, but I just got to shoot over to hole 13 and try to clean that up. Try not to get in anybody's way, but yeah, that was not the hit at all, but we're gonna try to see if we can make it work. So this one just barely made it. Um, it hit the top of this hill and kind of fell back down. This is a really, really high slope. So we're gonna try to just kind of flick this one up. The flag's in the front. So getting this to stop quick is gonna be kind of a challenge, but we're gonna do the best that we can. Try to hit maybe just a little flop and get it up there. Or maybe just bump it through this hill, but we're gonna give it a shot. should be all right all right so that actually worked out perfect we got another little six footer for hopefully a birdie um let's see if we can just knock this one in this will be a great birdie to get let's see if we can make it happen for missing the green and two. All right, so that was a super gettable birdie. Just didn't drop. I'm actually pretty happy with a par on that one, but definitely could have got a birdie on that one. The views out here are looking incredible though. Can't complain. Um, yeah, definitely should have been on in two. The guys up there said I just barely made the top of that bank and rolled back in. So could have been on in two with a little eagle birdie two putt, but pretty happy with it. But now we have a, a harder par four. This is the exact opposite, a super headwind par four. So the wind's really gonna kill this one. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can hit a driver. It's probably not gonna go any further than like 240. This is actually a really windy hole, but we're gonna try to get it done. it pretty quickly all sitting right there i'm at about i don't know maybe 200 yards out big windy par four i'm gonna try to take a five iron right over again the course looks amazing it's really good views today hopefully we can just get it right up there i've had a lot of good luck on this hole before so hopefully we can get some of that again just get a par and stay only two over again the goal today is six over six seven over so Hopefully we can stay on track for that. I think we're on track right now, so should be good. Just fell in the sand. Damn, that was a good shot too. Yeah, I didn't expect that to move at all, but it did all right. So that was 
pretty good. I didn't expect to get fully up and down from there after the shot because I was still probably 20 feet out. But yeah, it was a nice little two putt. Just got a bogey. I think I'm three through four right now, plus three through four. So not doing the worst. I got a, another gettable par five ahead of me again, downwind, which is great. So I'm gonna have a lot of help on this drive. I'm usually able to push this one about 300 as well. So I should have about maybe 210 up the hill, which isn't the worst. So I'm excited for that one. Uh, that was a good bogey to get, especially out of the sand. And again, the course looks great today. So I'm excited for this one. We're gonna try to get hopefully a birdie or par on the next one and then move on. Damn, big, big miss hit. All right guys, so that was another massive miss hit. It was kind of a rush of the people behind me, but I came out of the bush, it went and rode this big mountain, yeah, but it's pretty dry, there's nothing really holding it down. It came out here, but I am miles from the pen. I'm probably at least 340 out. Um, so I'm gonna try to just hit a three wood, clean this up and try to be on in three, worst case four. And I don't know, we're probably going for bogey at this point, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, so that was actually a really, really good one. That one got, I think, all the way up to 150 out, so I should be on in three. That was a perfect three wood on feet on a big slant. I think that should be great, actually. All right, guys, so that actually was a great hit. It kind of went by the one but I think it just trailed up in here, which is kind of unfortunate because I'm like five feet from the wall. And I got about 150 to the back edge, but I don't really have much on it. So I'm just gonna try to get a pitching wedge above this wall and kind of go for a harder hit shot. Hopefully just get to the front edge of the green. I don't really think this will get too close to the flag with the club I need, but we're gonna give it a shot. the second shot hopefully the first one ends up okay or the second one ends up okay but that is four from back here but i don't know that second one looked great actually so hopefully it's pretty close to the flag and uh this is looking probably like a double but hopefully just a par or bogey we can one putt or two putt this all right guys so that actually ended up really well this isn't the most makeable putt this is probably 14 feet but this is actually pretty good from back there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to put this in with a one putt, but this is looking like two putt distance, so we're gonna give it our best shot. stays that's a really hilly green if that stays that should be all right it's not that bad all right so yeah like i said this one was kind of a hilly island green it's kind of harder to stay on luckily it just kind of stayed up here without rolling in the sand kind of got blessed by that i think i pitched oh look i actually pitched right on it so it was actually a good club but direction was a little bit off but it got maybe a 30 footer just gonna put it through. It's really cut really well right here. I think I can actually get it pretty close. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to give this a good easy two putt and try to get a par. It's on a bit of a slant here. I think this is really going to break right to left. This is going to play right edge, but yeah, this is kind of like on a big pitcher's mound. Hopefully this can just drop, get a par, but this is kind of looking like a more difficult one.
So pretty happy with that one. That was a big, big slant. You guys probably can't see it from there, but my ball is basically sat on a pitcher's mound and kind of just had to tap it on the exact line to get it in. And I was glad I was able to run that in. This next one is, in my opinion, the hardest hole in the back, maybe even the hardest hole up here. Any driver shot will funnel right back down to about 150 yards from the pin. So this is a little bit harder to contain. So I'm going to have to use an iron off the tee here and kind of lose a lot of distance. I'll probably be about 170 from the pin. So yeah, that was a really good par. I'm going to try to see if we can get away with a par or bogey on this next one. Stay in that bush, stay in that bush. I think that bush stopped it from rolling all the way down the hill. I think that should be okay. All right, we made it. We're just up here. I'm gonna kind of pull it out of this car path. It kind of just barely stayed on the edge. I thought it was kind of more back here, but ball got kind of scuffed. I think we only have about this much room to kind of drop it right over here. It's gonna keep falling though. Leave it right there. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I'm in the sand. Damn, the big miss hit. All right, so I hit that one kind of fast. I was honestly kind of just worried about getting hit, but we're in the sand, I think for the third time today. I think we should only have about 20, 30 yards up to this pin up here. So we're gonna try to just scoop that one out. Again, I think I'm in the only wet spot in the sand. So we're gonna try to flick it up here. Let's see if we can get a read on where we should land it. Looks like it's actually just back on that bank right there. So I'm going to try to throw it all the way up there, see if it can reverse back towards the hole a little bit. We're going to give it a shot. Oh, it's twice. Oh, man. And we're on the wall. This is going to be the hardest shot. All right, let's open the face, try to see if we can save this one. Oh man, stay, 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 stay. All right, that's actually all right. <sighs> wow, all right, so that was pretty uneventful. Second shot went in the sand. Shot three, went back in the sand. Shot four, I think landed us up here. I'm pretty sure this is for five. Again, on kind of a bigger slant, so I'm just gonna try to make what I can of this and not get beat up too hard. Like I said, this is one of the hardest holes for a reason. You're playing basically uphill, so even the green is kind of going that way too. It's kind of on the sideways pin, so hopefully this is looking like a little bit of a right to left again. I got about 14 feet, so I'm gonna try to just Throw this in. This is probably going to be a two putt though, but we're going to do what we can. Wow, big break. And it's going to come all the way around. The green is super slanted. That came all the way this way, like an umbrella shape. So this isn't the easiest one either. All right, kind of stopped the bleeding there a bit, but yeah, that was a painful hole, but we got a good view. Hopefully 17 is going to be an easier par, but I think that was plus two, plus three, but. All right, so we're now on 17. I think this is probably one of the best views on the course. Um, this is a par three. I think it's about, I don't know, maybe 140 but it plays more like 125 or so because it's a big, big drop off. Um, this is, I think the closest I've ever, I've ever gotten to a hole in one has been on this uh, hole, but I feel like I probably just jinxed myself by saying that, but this is probably one of the easier ones. Again, I don't know if you guys can see, it's playing about 140, but with the, with the slope, it's probably gonna be like 125. So I think I'm just gonna flick a nine iron down there. The flag's all the way in the back, so I think we should be good on this one.
Oh, it's a bit short, but that's a little bit short. I kind of just took way too much off of it, but it's not the worst thing. I think we can kind of clean that up. I think we're just going to need a wedge up there and hopefully we can just one putt for par, but it should be all right. All right, so this one came a little bit short. When you're that high up, it's kind of hard to judge how much you need to take off and the drop off, even if you have like one of those range finders that gives you the slope. But we came right here. This is kind of like hole 11, just off the green, but they actually cut these pretty well. So I'm gonna try to just putt this through. Again, the greens here are super slanted, but I think this is gonna be a little bit better than going along with the wedge. This might give me a little bit better chance. So we're gonna give this a try. I feel like this is a wedge. I'm gonna grab a different club. All right, so plot twist. I took a couple practice <laughs> swings with the putter. Putter is definitely not it. This is actually holding it a lot more than I thought at first. So we're gonna have to use a wedge on this one, which shouldn't be too hard. It's actually holding it pretty uh, firmly. So I think this should be all right. This is about maybe 20 yards anyway. So this is probably the play to begin with, but I'm just trying to stop the bleeding so I can try to keep a decent score. But it's looking like a little bit of left to right. So I'm gonna try to leave it left of the pin and have it trickle down. But see if we can get this close in just one putt and. Hop out of here. Ooh, not as close as I'd like, but I don't think Putter would have done it. Again, this is still kind of a big left to right. And greens are really squishy towards the end of the day. So we're gonna play this left to right, a little bit more pace than we've been doing today. I think they're not as fast as they were before. So we're gonna to try to just drain this one. If not, we'll try to get a bogey and just run out of here. Oof. Not the worst, but I think this definitely should have been a par for this hole, but yeah, tee shot was just not it. Wow, ran it all the way by. All right, so we'll take a double, which is even less ideal. But yeah, we're falling really far off the target today. Um, that was just a silly mistake, but it is what it is. That's golf. We have this next shot here. This is the 18th hole. Uh, again, one of the easier ones. All the par fives here are pretty gettable. And I think, I don't know why, all the par fives are pretty downwind too, so. Um, we're just going to be taking driver, trying to get within 150 yards. That 150 marker is pretty easy to get to, so we should be good. We got these guys waiting up here, so we're going to take it to the next hole. We've made this game a lot harder than it needs to be for no, for no reason. Um, like I said, we're going to try to send this one with driver. We're currently nine over, which is about two or three off the target, but... We're gonna try our best to get one back here. We haven't had a birdie all day. If there was a time and place for it, I think it'd be here. I'm gonna to try to just send it a little tight fade around, try to leave it at the 150 marker and put myself in position for birdie. If not, hopefully par, but it could go kind of like 17. So we're gonna to try to get back on top here. That was super low, but I think that got through. If not, we're gonna, <laughs> we're making this harder again, but I think that one got through. So let's go check it out. I'm just barely skimmed through that bush. I'm using an eight degree driver and really trying to get used to it because I've been having longer hits and I kind of want to get the most out of it. But that one was probably the lowest one of the day and it just barely went through that bush. And we got here, 150 markers over here. We're currently about 230 from the pin and my three wood would just go right into that lake. So four iron would get there, but I want to use a five iron because it's a little bit more reliable. Four iron also kind of slings a little bit. Five iron is a lot straighter. So I'm going to try to hit this one about 190 or so and kind of avoid those sand pits and try to put myself back in position here. But getting on in two is just not really realistic if I want to keep an okay score. So I think we can do on in three. So I'm going to go ahead and try to just send this one and make the most of it. But again, the view here is great. We're nine over, but I'm going to try to just stay at nine over or we could still have a chance for birdie, but it's not as realistic now. We kind of lost a lot of yards in the drive. We'll see if we can make the most out of it. All 
All right, we are directly in another sand trap again, but we've had about 100% success rate out of that, so this one should be no problem. I think we should be good. Hey guys, so again, found the wettest, muddiest sand that they could offer us. But luckily I have enough space back here to stand. I'm not on the hill again, and there's not really a lip here, so I can pretty much use whatever club I need. Flags in the front, and I know this green has like a bunch of tiers on it, so I kind of just wanted to get this to stop moving as quick as possible. Looks like it's about 60 yards. Um, so this is probably looking like just a full 56 out of the sand, and the sand's going to slow it down a lot, or else it would run kind of further, but it's probably just going to be that. All right, back to another sand trap right in the front of it. I think the theme of today is sand traps. So we're kind of going to take the score with a grain of salt or grain of sand rather. And that one's looking pretty muddy too. So we're going to be in these all day. We're kind of not too worried about the score today, but this is not going to end up well. I can already tell, but that was only shot three. So still have a chance to get up and down, but it's not looking likely with that big wall. So we're going to try our best. All right. So it's kind of just laughable at this point. Um, again, the only wet part is just right here. The wall is about four feet high and the pin is right in front of it. Um, so getting this to stop would be a miracle. I'd literally have to stop right here to have any shot at this. But this is the fourth shot. Again, it's taking a wedge out of it, but I don't think anything's really going to come out of this. It's kind of a down bank too. So just open the face and kind of hope for the best. That actually came out all right. It passed the pin by a lot, but there wasn't really much more I could do from there. And we have another little slant up here. So as soon as I give it a putt at about right here, it's gonna start flying down that way. So close to the par. So I kind of just want to get close and get a bogey, honestly. And I think that'd leave me at 10 over and that's all right. But there's a whole lot of sand today. Um, Definitely not going to the beach anytime soon. All right. All right, guys. The bleeding has officially ended. We're done. I think that puts me at 10, 11 over, which isn't the best, but considering all the sand, uh, I think I definitely could have shot that at about six over. That was my goal for today. And I just found all the sand traps you could possibly find. But if you guys enjoyed the video, just hit the like button, subscribe button, and join me on the next one. We're going to get out of here and try to clean it up. Next time we'll probably play a different course and see if we can just shoot better. But appreciate it. Thank you.